Hello friends, today we will discuss a very innovative topic that is road diet. It is a reconfiguration of a roadway which is done to improve the safety, calm the traffic, provide better mobility and access for all road users and enhance overall quality of life. A road diet typically involves converting a four lane undivided road into a three lane with two lanes for through traffic and one central lane for right turning traffic. For left hand drive conditions it is right turn and for right hand drive conditions it is for left turning and that lane is called two way right turn lane. So it is like this that if you have a four lane divided undivided road these are two lanes in each direction it is converted to a it is now converted to two through lanes and one right turn lane in the center and this extra space here which is generated now that can be used either for pedestrians or for bicycles or even for motorbikes. This is the basic concept and this central lane is called two way right turn lane for left hand drive conditions and for right hand drive conditions these symbols or these markings will be like this like this in that case this will be movement of the traffic and that in that case it will be called two way left turn lane now this is a general concept of road diet but it is not limited to this configuration. It can be in the form of several other configurations also, which I will tell you a little later. A road diet can be a very low cost safety solution if it is planned along with payment overlays. What does it mean if you plan re this reconfiguration at a time when the payment is being overlaid, then in that case it can be accomplished at no additional cost and typically a road diet is implemented on a roadway with a current or future average daily traffic of 25,000 or less and traffic managers have basically indicated several benefits of this road diet concept and some of these benefits are shown here these are reduction of rear and and right turn crashes due to dedicated right turn lane, reduced right angle crashes as side street motorists cross three versus four travel lanes, fewer lanes for pedestrians to cross, opportunity to install pedestrian refuse islands, bicycle lanes, on street parking or transit stops, traffic calming and more consistent speeds, a more community focused complete streets environment that better accommodates the needs of all road users. These are some of the advantages which are reported. I will discuss three or four of them and the first is it creates safe mid block behavior. Consider this case. Now here a right turning vehicle is required to cross two lanes if it is to go to this establishment here then it is required to cross two lane roads and when it make a right turn so it will slow down from a distance and it will delay the following vehicle here 
and when this vehicle is delayed because of slowing down of this right turning vehicle it will make a unsafe movement here and then it will go to this lane and whenever a gap occurs here it will cross the, these two streets and these two establishment now same thing you can accomplish without delaying this traffic here so whenever a right turning vehicle is required to make a right turn it will move to this lane that is your two way right turn lane and then whenever a suitable gap occurs in this lane then it will cross this street to reach this establishment here so here a right turning vehicle is required to cross two street two two lanes it is only one lane here then second is fewer conflict points at mid block itself see again this movement when this makes a left turn unsafe movement then there will be a vehicle coming from this direction and there will be a point of conflict here when it merges again with this there will be a point of conflict here and when it takes right turn there are two points of conflict here these are potential points of crash or collision four points of conflict in this case there is no point of conflict because when it takes a right turn it will merge into this lane it will come to this central lane just giving a signal to the following vehicle it will merge, it will come to this lane and then it will cross only one lane so that is the point of conflict now that is reduced to one that is how safety is achieved the second point is or you can say second advantage is safer intersections now here if you look at this intersection which is formed by intersecting intersection of a four lane undivided road and let us say a two lane undivided road the points of conflict here this is the movement and that is the movement so you have so many points of conflict now that is crossing eight points of conflict before any treatment now if this road or this intersection is reconfigured reconfigured to this that you have now a, a four lane undivided road converted to a three lane one lane for right turning and two lanes for through traffic now this is the movement here and that is the movement because you have to cross now only two lanes so you have four points of conflict and any right turning vehicle will move to this lane and then whenever it finds a gap it will take the turn again here in this case a right turning vehicle will cross two lanes here it will cross only single lane so that makes the intersections also safer now here you can provide even the pedestrian refuse island also for crossing of the pedestrians and it is safer for pedestrians also here it is not possible here the pedestrian is required to cross the entire four lanes in one go because this is not a divided road it's just a marking here yellow color marking 
This is also yellow color marking, a firm line, a dotted line. Then third is better right turn side distance. This I can explain here itself at intersection. Now at this intersection, suppose this is the vehicle which is going right. This vehicle is going right. And there are vehicles in the opposing lane. Now, when this vehicle basically looks for a gap in the major street or in this street, he is looking on these vehicles which are coming from opposite direction. And when these vehicles approach is here, there may be a situation when these vehicles in the outer lane is hidden, may be hidden by the vehicles in the inner lane. So, that creates a potential of crash. That's a, that creates a potential situation for crash. Whereas in this case, because there is only single lane, so you have only one row of the vehicles and this vehicle can now see, it will come to this lane first and then it will take a right turn here, right turn here. So it can see the single column of the vehicles. There is no hidden vehicles now. So, side distance becomes safer. But it is not always reducing the number of lanes. The narrowing lane, narrowing the lane will also have the same effect on the speed. So, when it comes only the traffic calming technique using road diet, then you can consider reducing the lane width and even number of lanes can be increased. I will draw a few configurations here just to illustrate how road diet can be used in different situations. Say you want to convert, a, a, you can convert a four lane road to five lane road with a central two way uh, right turn lane. See here how we are converting a four lane into five lane with a provision of central two way right turn lane. Now here is a standard lane width for each of the four lanes. Here you reduce the lane width and this not necessarily to be a two lane road. It can be less than two slightly more than one lane or it can also be less than a lane. But this is to be used for right turning vehicles. This is one configuration when you are converting a four lane to five lane. You can also do two lane road to three lane road. This is the two lane road. We can convert that into three lane road. And of course, here you are sacrificing these shoulders on both sides. You are including this shoulder width into the lane width. This again may be a two lane, less than two lane, slightly more than one lane. But this is to be used for right turning traffic. This is another configuration. Or it can be a three lane to three lane configuration. Like this, you, you have a three lane configuration without any shoulders here, but this is a full lane width. It's a full lane width here. Don't consider this part. So you reduce the lane width here slightly and provide a provision or a space for either pedestrians or for bicycle or maybe even for motorbike. So that is how you can achieve different combinations. Now, this is here you create a new space by reconfiguring and this can be for pedestrians or for motorbike or maybe even for parking or it can be five lane to three lanes also. 
So two lanes in each direction plus one central lane for turning traffic. This can also be converted into three lanes like this. So you have now two lanes here, one lane here, one lane here with a space for shoulders. Now this space, this space can be used for either parking or for, this can be a bicycle track, this can be motorcycle track, it can be used for parking also. So these are different types of configuration which can be achieved or which can be used in road diet. But the purpose is only to improve the safety, calm the traffic and provide better mobility. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any doubt, any question, you can write in the comment box.